It is really hot. It is really hot and really bright out here. But I still wanted to film a video for you to <laughs> today. She's jerking me around. I, I, what can I say? May just likes to do that to me. Just likes to jerk around my emotions all the time. So today I wanted to talk about why the 0304 Cobra is still an awesome car to purchase in 2019. And the first reason, jumping right into it, is that manual transmission SVT Mustangs are not going to be a thing anymore. Actually, they're already not a thing anymore. The new, the brand new GT500 doesn't offer a manual. And so, this is one of those, well, this will be in, in a couple of years, one of those classic manual blower muscle cars that's just going to be sought after so much more than it already, it's, it's already very sought after, but it's going to be so much more sought after. What I'm trying to say here is factory blower V8 muscle cars with a six-speed manual transmission, they're going to become novelties very, very quickly. And a Terminator Cobra, it's already a legend and it's going to get even more popular in the next five years. Speaking of factory blower V8 muscle cars, Number two, going into number two, this is still one of the cheapest factory V8 blower muscle cars that you can get on the market. Still, my friend David, you may have seen that last video, he recently picked up an 03 Cobra with 34,000 miles for only $17,000. Now, keep in mind that was a very special deal. If you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. I'll put the link in the bio. Actually, I'll just put the link on the stream right here. You can still get a V8 lower car for 17 to 19 to 20 grand. Like, you can still get that kind of deal on Earth Recovery if you look for a year. You have to look for a while to find a deal like that, but they're still out there. Literally just trying to get through traffic, you know. That's, that's a thing. The 304 Cobra is one of the only factory V8 blower cars that you can get for like 17 to 20 grand unless you live in California. Number three, this is still one of the best car sounds, period. That sound is still one of my favorite sounds out of like any car sound ever. I don't I don't think there are that many car sounds that sound better. Maybe maybe my only car sound that I like possibly better than that is a first generation Lamborghini Gallardo. But other than that, this is still my favorite car sound. It just, it just, it just sounds really good. If only you guys can see the traffic that I'm dealing with right now. Yeah, you just he just pulled right out in front of me. Okay, that, that's cool. Pull right out in front of me and then run the red light right in front of you. That's a great idea. Good good job, sir. Drive the Toyota. What do you expect? You know, the crazy thing is you'd think that us people at Mustangs would be the ones that are driving crazy, but it's actually the people in the Toyota Camrys and the minivans driving crazy around us. It's like we're not driving crazy enough for the cars we have, and they're like angry about it or something. Number four is just simply that this body style Mustang, in my opinion, still looks the coolest. It's still my favorite. Now, maybe, Maybe I'm biased because I, I grew up in, in the early 2000s, like that was my era. Like I was literally that kid. Oh man, that clutch. Oh man. I got a, a stage two center force dual friction clutch and it just like whines when it's hot outside. It's great, it's fantastic. As I was saying, when I was a young kid, I used to go to Myrtle Beach with my parents and we would stand on the strip at night and I would I would hear the early 2000s Mustangs just going up and down. They would usually have something like Flowmasters and Off-Road X, and I just thought it sounded so cool, and I loved the way that they looked, and I, I just grew up around early 2000s Mustangs. In 2000, I was six years old. In 2004, I was 10 years old. So I was a kid during the era that this year Mustang came out, and I just, I thought the body style was so cool. I still think it is so cool. So I have a theory that whatever, model you grew up around it might end up becoming your favorite. I love the newer Mustangs, don't get me wrong, but I just I just like the way these look the most. Like, especially the 0304 Cobra, I, I, I just think it is the most aggressively designed Mustang ever. Last but not least, number five, is that these four valve Cobra motors, like, they, they really can take a beating. Like, 
let me tell you, I got 132,000 miles on this motor. And yes, I've had fuel issues, yes, I've had spark issues, yes, I've had some electrical issues, but I've never had any compression issues or anything bad with the motor. I'm like, I, I do baby the car, I don't beat on it like a lot of Cobra owners. Literally, when you see me hitting it is literally the only time I hit it. I don't really hit the car. I don't really beat on her unless it's on video. Literally just how I am. I'm very conservative. Um, I know that it is extremely expensive if I do break something, but at the same time, for what this car is, it's 530 rear wheel horsepower that I'm currently making, and I even need a new tune right now. I'm literally on the old tune, and, and I'm, I'm just fine. This is a bulletproof motor, unless you go and try to make a thousand horsepower without building it, but that's with almost any motor. This motor, 500, 600 horsepower all day, perfectly fine. You can daily drive it. Don't recommend daily driving it because it's just the drivability, it's just not there at that point, but you could, and the motor could take it because I've daily driven this car for, I daily actually daily drove it for about the first four years, and then I, got, so the guy beeped at me because I wasn't taking it off, I wasn't going fast enough. Now he's gonna get on my ass. And you know what? I'm not gonna go that fast because I don't, I just, I have some really bad road rage is what it is. People feel the need to beep at me because I'm not accelerating fast enough. Jesus, so annoying. Oh yeah, now he's staying way back. Yeah, you better stay the f back. F you. Oh man. It's a good thing that guy didn't gig me or anything because I'm just, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Not in the mood today. Today would not have been the day. You guys literally would have saw me follow that guy. You know, I would have, I would have, got, I would have got out of the car and I would have gave his ass a hug. And then I would have squeezed him to death like a, like a snake. One of the, one of the not so fun things about this car is like, everybody knows that you're there and everyone like looks at you all the time and is like judging you like you're thinking you're maybe an ass or something when you're, when you're not. And um. Yeah, like, if you don't like attention all the time, don't get this car. If you do like attention all the time, if you can deal with it, that's cool. But I, I just, I'm, I'm pre-warning you guys. This thing will get you more attention than you might want. And with that, I will see you guys next video. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you have any questions or concern. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Otherwise, you're just you're just not gonna see my videos when they come out. If you guys appreciate frustrated road rage, Jordan, share the video. Comment that you agree that you would also hug people when they get angry or when you get angry with them. And um, I'll see you guys next video. All love. I, I love you guys. Get my money.